WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. we got a slightly mixed bag out there right now. The mix coming from the Russell, which is off eight points. Otherwise, all of the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. The Dow itself is up 107 points. It's about three-tenths percent, six-tenths for the S&P, or 25 points, one and a quarter percent for the NASDAQ 100, 147 points there. The semis are up 29 points. That's about one percent. Trenders are basically flat. Gold is up two bucks. Silver's off. Uh, one penny. Lights recruit is off 26 cents. Uh, natural gas pulling backs off 44 pennies right now. Trading out at 256. And the 30 year Treasury up 16 ticks, a half a point. Trading out at 124.11. Let's go take a look at what all this means out here by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. What did the ES Mini do on Friday? Well, on Friday, it closed above the top of its daily profile. That's your resistance point. Those sellers were overrun. That was at the 40, 30, 40, 40 level out there. Well, with price above yesterday or Friday's high above the top of the profile, what's the ES Mini want to do? It wants to continue to move higher. If we take a look at that spot volatility, it's the only thing concerning about the spot volatility is it has not taken out Friday's low. So we have a little bit of a divergence there, the ES taking out Friday's high, but the ES not taking out Friday's low. Nonetheless, price is below that 50-day exponential moving average. That says price should continue to move higher. The NQ on Friday did not make it up to the top of its daily profile. That's what it's doing right now. And a close above 12, 408.50 is going to suggest a further move higher. Now, when we go take a look at my intraday charts, we're going to see signals that these markets are going to move higher. The NQ right now is targeted as a swing point. The low of that swing point, which is from February 2nd, is at 12,501.75. The high so far today, 12,474. So that's a level that we'll be watching if price closes inside there. With or without volume, that's at 12,501.75. Odds favor price moves up to the top of that profile. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's consolidated with inside its daily profile. It does have a TD9 count top out there. Um, and maybe targeting the bottom of that daily profile, 103.84. Gold is right now trading, even though it's pulling back just a uh, tad, uh, it is really testing old resistance, which may become new support. And that is the top of its daily profile. That's at the 1856.40 level. We're at 1856.00, even Stephen as we speak. In the case of silver, it's trading with inside a bullish structure daily profile. Typically, once price is above the center, which at 20.83, it makes a run to the top. That's at 22.13. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.